But before moving here to Hawaii, I lived in a rural town in Tennessee. And one of my friends, Sean, owned a small, uh, a small farm with cows. And since I had never been part of an active farm, I asked him if I could go along with him one day and, uh, and feed, help him feed the cows, cows. Soon after, he called me and said, sure, come join me this afternoon, and he invited me to tag along. And we, when we pulled up to the fence that lined the perimeter of the farm, he asked me to wait in, into the truck until he motioned for me to come join him. I sat patiently and watched as he walked toward the fence. I rolled down the window so I could hear, hear him call for the cows. And at the sound of his, of his voice, they came trotting. You see, they, they knew his voice. They knew that his voice meant food. Once the cows crowded the fence line, he nodded over to me and waved his hand, uh, beckoning me hit to join him. And I quickly opened the truck door and stepped out. And guess what happened? The cows, sensing an unknown visitor, immediately turned around and took off into different areas of the pasture. Those cows didn't know me, and they didn't trust me. And my friend Sean, he chuckled and said, they do that every time someone joins me at the farm. In John's Gospel today, Jesus begins by describing who he is not. Those who climb into the sheepfold in a secretive or sneaky way are thieves and bandits who do not care about the sheep, but only about their own gain. By contrast, the shepherd enters the sheepfold openly by means of the gate. He is recognized immediately by the by both he is recognized immediately by both the gatekeeper who opens the gate for him and by the sheep who know his voice when he calls his sheep by name they follow him and he leads them out to pasture the sheep will not follow a stranger but instead will flee from one whose voice they do not understand do not recognize it makes me think of my own faith formation growing up in the church I belonged to a church that often acted as the gatekeeper. The church that raised me was the kind that said, in words only, all are welcome. But in reality, many were not. The churches that I worked in welcomed all people, but sometimes only in secret. Keep your private lives private, they would say. In other words, don't be your true self within the walls of the church. Worshiping or even working in churches that upheld a st double standard can get really tiring after a while. And when I left ministry to move out to Hawaii, I was determined to take an extended break from church. I wasn't sure if I was going to come back, to be honest. But since joining Calvary by the Sea, I feel a sense of blessing that I get to walk this road with so many people who are not like me. People who are welcoming, open, and encouraging. Each week on my drive home, I try to reflect on at least one connection that I've made while I was at church. And I realize more often than not that I walk away from church each week feeling more energized than when I entered. That is to say, there is something comforting and beautiful about living in community that is welcoming to everyone. In the midst of all the negative voices that try to persuade us, hear this word of hope. The only voice that matters, the voice of truth, the voice of the shepherd. He leads us out of the pen, prompts us to follow, wraps us in his protection, and he calls us by name. Let us pray.